dirmici, da cosa la sua corrente, la ricerca, il corso in ordo, con cui vogliamo che le dice, poi che è vicino a lei, perché qui sono giusti gli esterni che sono, quando c'è un esterno che ci sono, non proprio da tutto. condition the waves come in and retreat and virtually nothing is happening in the river. But as the river gets a chance to flow into the sea and the level changes, suddenly the action of the sea takes on a different perspective. Here we see a small wave being settled. As the river speeds up and goes out into the sea, the way incoming wave stops it and sets it backwards. This is what creates a sort of wave. These waves you'll see here appearing to be quite insignificant and small, will roll onwards up the river all the way up to the White Bridge, and then they will roll back down again, passing through the waves going up. Here you can see the very little depth of water at the mouth of the river, which is practically just a shingle, and yet these small waves Passing into this confined, this specifically designed riverboat are enough to set off these three waves. There's a bigger one coming. Obviously, they are created waves, not the remnants of marine waves. Otherwise, they would be rolling up and down all the time. You see the river gradually speeding up as it tries to drop its level and get rid of the buildup of water that these waves have called within the lower river. You can see here, the wave water is so shallow at the start of the incoming wave that there's only a few inches of wave actually coming into the river. But that's sufficient to trigger these wave-forming events. Water slowing almost at a standstill and now in a few moments you'll find that the, it's suddenly a reverse procedure and the water will start charging back on the channel. You can actually wait across there at the beach because that's just the shingle you're seeing there and the water flushing out. Wave gathering it because of the force of the water going out in the shape of the entrance to the sea, and suddenly you get this large force of water going out, and off it goes up the river. Witnessing the waves passing underneath it, then onwards up the river. You can see that the water under the road bridge is flowing back out, but this wave doesn't get hindered, it just passes through it and proceeds on up the river.
know, we're looking at the channel at the river mouth, and I find you get very bored simply looking at this, because for long periods of no waiver, it doesn't meet the right criteria to set the waves off. But there's no doubt that there's this river mouth and confined track that is the reason for these waves being formed. Were the river to be blocked off just downstream of the bridge where the foot of this picture is, these waves wouldn't be able to get into the river. And with the, the river mouth going directly into the sea, there would be no chance of solitary waves being formed to roll onwards of the river. Just as in earlier times, this phenomenon was never witnessed. An extended period with exactly the same size of waves crashing onto the beach, and yet nothing is happening in the river. Until the criteria of the varying levels is met, and suddenly a wave will surge onward into the river and set the bottom of waves going again. As the waves come upstream, you think that they're actually growing. understand why waves of that relatively small size can have the power to progress for so far upstream against the current. A Scottish engineer in the middle of the last century who discovered the phenomenon of solid and waves. It was a horse-drawn barge in the Fourth Clay Canal, and the barge suddenly stuck, and the bow wave of the barge detached itself from the front of the boat and started flowing along the canal. And the scientist jumped onto the horse and followed it for two miles up the canal and the wave was still flowing, and that was only with the power and momentum of one horse pulling a barge. Now from the road bridge looking seaward again, you see the river is undisturbed and gradually going down in level as the water is getting a chance to escape into the sea. You gradually see the ripple starting at the narrowing point above the bridge. Here's one. As the you can see the bigger water one here coming now. And then the smaller one behind. Then yeah. here's and then the smaller one behind. Yeah. Small wave coming up. Oh, oh, here we go. That's the one oh, we've been waiting for. Oh, here's that. Oh, my God. As you can see, it bears oh, absolutely that's... no relationship to the height and the state of the waves in the sea behind it. These are all creative waves. Like the seven door. Channel and the rock armor and the shape of the mouth of the river that creates the ideal circumstance no, to develop the and set off these waves falling up the river. Having braved the traffic and tried to rush across the road, and you get the camera under control, you can see the waves still rolling up the wall at the side of the properties with the white bread just shortly upstream of them. But when there is a bigger, higher water in the river and a higher tide, the waves going up here generated by tell this us process that's there can be very the wave considerable. Yeah. It's creating the wave. You up. see the wave is going back downstream now, still in a wave formation, much reduced. 
Now, when you look at the right-hand side of the picture, that green-grey coloured shed was actually moved the full length of the man's garden with an incoming solid and wave. The down. water was up and careering mm -hmm. along over the fence. And that wasn't sea waves, that was man-made waves with this confining channel. The tide is going out, and yet these waves are still being generated periodically and flowing up the river. Yes, he told me.